What's going on Quantum Nation? Welcome back. So today we're going to be comparing the Samsung Q8FN to the left to the Samsung Q60T to the right. Now I am hand holding this because the way I am positioned in this here setup I cannot set up my tripod so please refrain from tripod jokes if you can. Also I am still sick so the energy will be relatively low for this video which I do apologize for but I am only human and I'm trying to get this information out to you. Now essentially it goes like this. Uh, the Samsung Q8FN totally dominating and bodying the Q60T. I think we all expected that. I don't think we were expecting the Q60T to really destroy Samsung's best, right? Now, that being said, the Q60T does do a good job of representing some hues, so the dual LED technology in some cases can be nice for certain hues. I mean, and by hues, I mean just how some things can be warm and represented to a better degree like some rock structures and things of that nature sometimes, but not always. Um, essentially, overall, though, the Samsung Q8FN is just a ballet of color, contrast, sharpness, literally almost every important metric a TV can have. The Samsung Q8FN delivers that over the Q60T, and that's huge, especially for a guy like me because that's a lot of the stuff that I look for. Now I'm going to switch to a different scene here so we can see what uh, what is going on here with other scenes. Uh, I love this scene on the Wonderful World of Wonder Calibration disc because it simply just shows off essentially everything that I'm telling you guys. How, again, the Q60T is it, kind of close for a budget TV in the $700 price range, you know. So you're talking, I paid $1,600, uh, you know, a little over that after taxes. For the Q8FN and the Q60T was a little over 700 bucks and it's getting awfully close in some areas so that's impressive but at the same time it is a difference and the difference in ability is so very clearly marked by uh, just damn you know like the contrast is really what draws me in on the Samsung Q8FN where the Q60T it has a lot of shadow detail because it's edgelet, which is usually a strength of edgelet TVs. And I have to say, that's actually a really nice thing, and I'm glad to see that that still holds up. But Samsung not adding the local dimming back like they claimed to have done with the Supreme UHD dimming listed on their website is a massive miss opportunity. Like, seriously, they had a chance to really knock it out of the park uh, with some stellar local dimming because the native contrast, I can tell is really really good because the black levels don't exhibit any kinds of clouding all you really experience are gray blacks which honestly if you're not too picky about that might not actually be a big deal to you um, for me that's a huge deal breaker i want it inky jet black on my black bars and this tv does not do that um, but again you're not paying the top dollar amount but then again you have TVs on the market right now today, like the Hisense H9F, that have no such issues with black bars and look absolutely incredible, and it's in the same price range. So, 55-inch uh, actually is less. So, you know, you're talking, I think it, last time it was, it was like five, 600 bucks or something like that. So, and it's got quantum dots, all the same bells and whistles, and it's fantastic. I'm not trying to sell it to you, I'm just literally telling you like it is. And if you wait for the newer Hisense H9G, that might actually even be better maybe even some of the newer Vizios, who knows. Uh, but point being, you know, there are other options in this price range, and strictly putting it honestly, um, I don't know that Samsung is actually going to be able to offer a compelling argument as to why you should invest in their television when there are others on the market that are within your same price range of this TV because the contrast is just so much lower than almost anything you could buy right now at the full array level. And it's so apparent when it goes up against this here Q8FN. I mean, looking at this scene, it's just dark, rich, pure, crispy. I mean, the image pops on the Q8FN. And on the Q60T, it's, it literally looks like there's a blurring filter over the TV. That's the only way to describe just how under sharpened it is by comparison. Now, of course, you can take to trying to artificially sharpen the TV by over sharpening it in the sharpness feature, but that's not going to do you any favors. Also, I've noticed a ton of motion artifacts on the Q60T, so it's not that great with motion at all. 
it's good enough for the budget user but overall that motion is not clean and there are tons again of motion artifacts that I genuinely don't like um, so there's that but essentially I think it's a decent TV I know a lot of you have been asking um, how do I like it so far uh, we're gonna put it up against the Sony X900E probably next week or something like that I don't know it depends on how I'm feeling but um, essentially so far if you wanted to know up against the Q8FN it loses in the black level department the color department the sharpness department the motion department I mean name a metric really it's just getting his ass handed to itself and that's really sad because you know you would expect at least some kind of high-end performance I would say from a TV of this caliber with a Samsung name at the QLED level but it really doesn't mean much so they kind of force you to buy the more expensive TVs and sadly that's what most people are going to end up doing now I want to thank you guys for watching the number one brand in honesty leave your requests and your questions in the comment section and I will try to answer or at least uh, make some of that stuff happen for you guys I mean look at that fire just now that was absolutely terrible on the Q60T if you didn't see that fire just now run the video back and oh my god the pixelation of the the art of the motion artifacts rather on that fire was just something absolutely horrible but I'll digress from that and just say that uh, again just leave your questions and you know I'll try to get to you when I can I'm gonna retire for the night and you know take some medicine and things of that nature so I really appreciate you guys stopping by and until the next video I'll see you guys later